Hey you guys, Valley Vaughn the Perfume Down back at it again with another video. How are you doing? How are you? Hope you're doing well. It is a nice, beautiful Saturday where I am. I hope you're having a great day. Really feeling, feeling, feeling amazing. Take this time to take some time for yourself. Take a longer bath. Man, I took a bath so long today. I was like, man, why not? Okay, prep, prep, pamper yourself. Why the freak not? Although I understand if you got your kids at home, then that's a whole other deal. But make sure you take some time for your shelf, okay? So today we're going to be talking about you voted. You wanted to see it. It's on my Instagram. That's where you voted. If you're not on my Instagram, it's Valley Valley Perfume down on there. Post every day. Fun stuff. Fragrance stuff. Happy Fragrance Day! It's Happy National Fragrance Day. So you guys got to drop below. What's your scent of the day? It has to be something special. If you're not wearing something special, run and put it on. Spritz, 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 Okay? Also, you guys should subscribe, subscribe, sure, sure, subscribe to my channel because in the community tab, that's the only way you're going to be able to see it. And I drop different ideas of fragrances to wear, different ingredients and fragrances, super hot CEOs of company. And then also, if I see a really good deal on fragrance that I share with you guys, but you can only see that if you're subscribed. So let's get into what I believe are really good brunch fragrances, Okay. So I love this idea because whether you're out and about, whether you're at home doing a very nice brunch, you got the chicken and waffles going, you got some omelets, you got the salmon benedict. I'm sorry. This may be cropped to where it looks like this, like I'm naked, but I'm not. This, this is how it is. Actually, drop below. Do you like it like this better? Let me move the hanger stuff. Like off the shoulder? Or do you like it like that? Like a milk maiden? Doop, doop. Let me know. It seems like it's going to be like this regardless, so I guess we don't have much say on it. Well, is my eyelash coming off? Oh, I hope not. But anyways, yeah, so if you're doing it at home, if you're doing a champagne OJ, mimosa, if you're doing bellinis, if you're doing omelets, whatever you're doing, everyone loves a really, really, really good brunch. And actually, particularly me, I love a good English Irish breakfast. I think it's so good. I love the beans and the... Uh, I'm about to say the marshmallows, <laughs> the mushrooms, and the tomatoes, and everything all together. I think it's so delicious. And guess what? I let you in a secret. I actually like blood pudding. I know I'm nasty, but oh well. I like I like what I like, and I like these fragrances. So let's get into it. The first one that I chose is so. <gasps> you know what I just noticed? These have the same freaking bottle. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> dude. I like seriously just like killed my computer. What's what's the good of having a case on it if it's open? Are you still gonna work? Let me see. Let me turn it on. Okay. She's resilient. She's a strong girl, like moi. Okay. But I was talking about these two fragrances have the same freaking bottle. So I'll show you in a little bit. This one is a Missoni M. And I featured this in another video that I did, but I never talked about this fragrance. But let me tell you, it's so good. Mm, it just, you know, after mm, most of these fragrances are either, either going to be like super edible or like really sparkly, kind to play, trying to play off of the theme of having like a sparkly drink at brunch or having something that's usually a little bit more sweet. I tend to go more sweet than savory at brunch, I think. Or it's nice to have both, you know. You want to have some fruit on the side if you're going to do a very savory omelet and this and that. And you know what? These are going off the shoulder. It's going to bother me. <laughs> You're going down. It's going down. <sighs> okay, you feel better? Feel better. But yeah, back to this fragrance. Very nice, sparkly, very sparkly citrus bubble pop. Not bubble gum, but like a sparkly drink. That's what it smells like. Like a Fanta or one of those fruit drinks that are carbonated. That's what it smells like. But it also has a musky element, light musky and floral to it as well but i really like this fragrance i think it's so good for spring summer and it's definitely a very nice brunch fragrance to where you're hanging out with your family on a sunday morning with yourself making yourself an amazing spread of all the del delicious things you want to eat even if that's just cereal if you love cereal you know put this on and eat your cereal <laughs> lately i've been getting into cereal i don't know it's because my friend nora if you're watching she's always eating freaking cereal and now it's making me want it i've never been that person but now i want it you always want what you don't have right and also if you like fashion particularly plus size fashion 
check her out. It's Nora Zanana. She talks about spirit spirituality. She talks about plus size fashion. Um, her journey of being a millennial, making it through life, and her channel will be linked below. But her name's Nora Zanana, and she's a good Southern woman. But yeah, this fragrance very sparkly, very fun. Smells like a good time, and I really like it. Usually, you can find this at the discount spots right now. Um, uh, I think you can probably, I've seen it online as well, but yeah, usually it's for a really good deal. So if you find it and you like how that sounds, then definitely pick it up. This is Miss Sony M and this is the Eau de Toilette. Love it. Love, love, love. And the one that I was talking about that I just noticed that the bottle looks just freaking like, you know, I can't do a bot. You know, I can't do any, um, video without including this one lately because I'm just freaking obsessed and hopefully, if all goes well, I'll have another Mancera to add to my collection, which I cannot wait to reveal to you soon. However, this is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. If you've been rocking rock with me for a minute, you know. This is Bay. You know, we're going to get married. This is Bay. you know? But yeah, love this fragrance. I mean, like, literally, just, it's a, it's a mood pick-me-up. This is a nice white floral tuberose, super sweet super super sweet it smells like birthday cake to me some people say it smells like tuberose i think it smells like bubble gum or birthday cake but either way this is a sweetie if you don't like sweet get out of here but it's still light and it's not really heavy or that sickly sweet i would still rock this in the summertime but look at that look at that oh my god how pretty oh is this thumbnail 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 <laughs> Anyways, this is Mancera Velvet Vanilla Miss Sony M Eau de Toilette. Love both of those. Great. So this is going to be like the sweetness. If you if you're the kind of person that goes out and orders the uh, the the waffle covered with syrup with the chicken, the fried chicken on the side, this is the one you like. That one you like sweet. Okay, the next one that I really want to do is going to be another, more so like a sparkly joint to me. And that's going to be another one that I've recently talked about. This is the Mariah Carey Luscious Pink. Again, very fruity, very musky. Yeah, it kind of smells a little bit like green floral, a little bit. Rock with me. A little bit green floral, but definitely floral, um, fruity, and musky. So it smells sparkly, but it's also suitable for a grown woman. But I really like this one. You can definitely find this one for a really good deal. I got this for about 10 bucks. 10 bucks in a gift set. Um, but yeah, this is Mariah Carey Luscious Pink M. No, wait, I'm lying. I'm sorry. Mariah Carey just Luscious Pink. <laughs> Okay, the next one is going to be, this is one I haven't talked about recently, and I never really talk about. I don't know why, but this is like literally, it's such a good everyday scent. This is not going to be the wow factor. I don't think this is going to get you any compliments. If someone gives you a compliment on this scent, they're just trying to, not to be vulgar, but they're probably just trying to butter you up, I'll say. They're trying to butter you up. They want something from you. If so, where, that's the test. Wear this fragrance. If someone tells you you smell good, ask them, like, hey, what do you want? What do you want? I know you want something, okay? Because this is not a compliment getter. It's just a good everyday scent, okay? So if you just want to put something on, I would totally reach for a CK1 shock for her. And if you have got a bunch of compliments wearing this scent, let me know. Maybe your body chemistry is different from mine, but yeah, it just smells white floral musky and something about it has like this mini little bit background of sweet but not it's not no one would really call this a sweet scent but i, I feel like i smell something in there but yeah it's mostly like just very fresh clean um it smells like white floral and maybe a little bit citrus sorry this is freaking out because it's like so much white in my shirt and <laughs> the color's going crazy but yeah this is ck1 shock for her you can see that this is everywhere in the discount spots and it's just really like it's one of those scents you're like, I don't know. I don't really want to have a strong smell. You know, some people can't have a strong smell while they're eating. It turns their stomach. It, you know, it's just not for them. So if you want something that's just like very light, just a skin scent will better. CK1 shock for her. Okay. Also, that one's going to protect your pockets because it's very affordable. Okay. All right. The next one that we have is going to be another fave from Wa. I talk about this girl all the time. I talk about her all the time. This is Joe Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. I mean, and though I know it's not a mimosa, it's a mimosa flower. 
just want to choose something that has mimosa in it. And it's a really good one. This one's a little bit sweet, but it kind of smells... It smells warm, sweet, and floral. All in one. Very nice scent. Love it so much. Can you see me? I feel like... Am I blown out? Um, I think it's the white shirt. Whatever. But yeah, this is Joe Maloma Wilson and Carnaman. I've talked about how sometimes this smells like a nutmeg latte from... <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> like, why are you? I'm, don't, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. As you can tell, I'm the person that pops the pimples. I can't leave it alone. It's bothering me. I have to do something about it. Anyways, this I typically say that it smells like a latte to me. Something about it, it just smells very warm and creamy. Um, but it's supposed to be floral and spicy, but this combination is so beautiful. Great to rock in the morning. Um, I think all of these scents are not super harsh, so they're great to, to rock in the morning when, you know, your senses are just waking up. You're not like, I don't want something very heavy, like it's supposed to be for nighttime, something overpowering. This is a very introduction to, very good introduction to the day. And that's Joe Malone, Mimosa and Carnivan. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be, what's it gonna be? Oh, come here. Come here, girl. Get over here. I must be so rough with cases because I just looked at my computer case again. And it's like literally cracking. What am I doing to these computers? I need to relax. Okay, this one is going to be Daisy Mark Jacobs. Now, this was like an exclusive flanker, but I have something else for you. No, look, don't, don't, don't freak out. This is an exclusive flanker from last year, 2019. Daisy Mark Jacobs, also oh fresh sunshine. It's got that honeysuckle, I believe. Is it honeysuckle? Is it like, it smells lemony and it smells fruity. Kind of smells like orange to me. Kind of smells like lemony orange and honeysuckle to me like white floral but this is so bright and awakening and it just literally smells like sunshine so like sunshine the bottle is going to wake you up it has this much zest but very still very girly very feminine it smells like a good freaking time it smells like laughter who doesn't want to smell like that and you can find this one in the discount spots now as well so yeah this is daisy mark jacobs also sun also fresh sunshine i kind of want this to be my scent of the day We'll think about it. I feel like it rocks with my vibe today. Like, you know, fresh, young, exciting. Let's do this one. So this is from Toka. <sighs> Can we talk about the packaging? Can we talk about how I'm going to close these windows because it's too much light coming in? Okay, that's much better. Eh, still kind of bright, but whatever. So this is Toka. This is Amelia. And I love this scent. It's such a good one. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite uh, Toka fragrance. This one has... Ooh, come off the bottle. I love how all their fragrances, the travel size ones, come in like a storybook. Because their whole thing is like so enchanting. But yeah, this is the Eau de Parfum. This is Amelia. It says, Free Spirited Adventures. Amelia calls the world her home. Wow, that sounds like me. Uh, it has fig, which is like usually has like a freshness to it. Um, like a greenness, but then also a fruitiness. Um, Clementine, which is like an orange. Magnolia, white floral. And geranium. Sometimes that one smells like a green floral to me. But yeah, this one's a really nice green fresh floral musky fragrance but yeah it kind of smells like you're walking outside a little bit and through a field of flowers but i love this one i think it's so great for you know usually it brights your wear like a dress or something like that but i think this is totally the scent that you'll want to rock when you're feeling super feminine and really dressed up and so gorgeous but yeah this is toka amelia oh, i love that scent oh like such a freaking klutz yeah that one's really green that's that's kind of like a super green maybe i'll do a green scent video what you think what you think girl okay the next one that we have is going to be let's do the alternative so if you can't pick up this one 
because of obvious reasons because it's like no longer in production oops <laughs> even though you know you can get everything on the world wide freaking web everything is online this is an alternative and i love this one just as much i love all my children the same no fighting i love you guys the same i love her more i love her more but yeah so this is daisy love by mark jacobs Ooh. Now, that this one is full, but it has that sweetness to it. Like, it smells like a young, juicy, a young, juicy person. <laughs> I don't know. A young, juicy person. <laughs> well, yeah, it has a sweetness to it. Oh, got it in my mouth. <laughs> um, still floral, but yeah, just fresh and fun. And I do have an individual review for this one on my channel if you want to know more about it. But yeah, if you like Daisy, but you want a little bit, it's not as sweet as Daisy. Oh, so sweet. Love that one. Um, but this is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Great scent. Okay, now this one, I have to advise you. Rock this one if you're having brunch a little bit later in the day. Because when it when first, when you first spray it, whoo, I don't know why. I wish they could change the formulation to where the initial spray was just a little bit different. Because I feel like it's so rough and overpowering. I almost like I blind, kind of blind bought it. Um, like they were just having a good deal. And I was like, you know what? It must be good. Victor and Ralph. But it, this is Bon Bon by Victor and Ralph. Sorry. The original. Because I know they have a new flanker that came out. It was like Blanche or something like that. But anyways, I just blind bought this. And I was like, oh, Bon Bon. That means sweet in French. It must be amazing. And it is. It's good. But, I mean, that initial spray is just like... Let me see. It's just so strong. I think it's like orange or something. It's like really fresh and strong and like gets you in the nose. And <coughs> you kind of like cough a little bit. And this is not the time to be coughing. Do not cough. Especially in public. Hold it in. You know, your eyes get all watery. Start to run. <laughs> run to the car. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah, it's like very fresh and, I don't know, very fruity and, and not in a good way, though. It's really strong when you first spray it, but when it dries down, love it. Very caramel, melty, very sweet. That's when you get to the bonbon, bonness of it. Love it. But yeah, that's Victor Ralph Bonbon. Great for brunch, I think. I think that's the strongest one out of everything. I mean, this one has the best lasting power. But as far as punch you in the nose when you first spray it, it's definitely going to be the bonbon. Oh, okay. So the next one that we have is going to be Glam Jasmine by Michael Kors. I'm not even going to spray this one because I have the smallest bottle ever. And I don't even know when I'm going to get another one because I haven't seen it in stores. I know it's online, but I'm not... When I buy online, I like to make huge purchases. Like, I don't usually go online to buy one thing. Sometimes I do. If it's from, like, Fragrance Net or something, like, I'll go pick up some of their stuff like that. But typically, I like to make a huge purchase. Because, you know, you just like to get that huge box at your door front. Like, oh, my God, I've spent my life savings on crap. This feels amazing. But anyways, so this is Glam Jasmine by Michael Kors. Of course, it smells like jasmine. It smells like jasmine. This is probably one of the best jasmine scents that I've smelled. If you know another one, drop drop a blow. What's your favorite jasmine scent? But this is my favorite interpretation. Um, glam jasmine. That's what it's. That's what it smells like. Very glamorous. Very sparkly. It smells like a cocktail night out. But yeah, very floral, but like a light floral and great for the morning and not too overpowering. But love that one. I think that's a great date night scent too. Okay. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be a very affordable one. This is a flank. Is it a flanker? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. But this is Enduring Glow. I think this this may be a flanker of the J Lo Glow. It has to be. It has the same bottle. I mean, duh. But anyways, this is Enduring Glow by J Lo, and this one is just. It still has that fresh freshness. That muskiness of the other one, but it definitely has what I smell to be like a fruity floral base in there. Maybe some light woodiness as well, but yeah, it smells like, if you like glow, like the original J-Lo glow, if you like something that's a little bit fresh, it still keeps that freshness. So this is a really good flanker for them because I love it when they do a flanker and it keeps the same ideal and model of the first pillar fragrance, but then they just build on a little bit 
and this one you build on a little bit so if you like glow for daytime then you love this one for a night out so yeah this is enduring glow um for j-lo although it's for a night out it's still light and clean and yeah, light, clean, musky, fruity, floral, a little bit of woody, but great for a brunch scent as well. Very versatile, that scent. I, I feel like I could see it so many places. Like, I see it as a night out. If you don't want something that's like a monster, so heavy, so strong. Um, if You could definitely wear it in the morning. I see it to church. I see it to work. I see it just running to the store. It's a really good, versatile scent. I like that one. So, the last one that we have is going to be from Chloe. This is my booting, my other booting shake. This is Eau Sensuale, the flanker of Love Story. So this is a flanker of their OG Love Story. And I have to admit, there's not a Chloe fragrance that I'm like, get that out of here. Oh, that's, no, that's good. There's like a warm sweetness about it. Almost like a dried fruit kind of warm sweetness. But it's like fruity and musky and floral too. It's like grown woman and youthful all in one. Ooh, I think I like the flanker more than the original. Because I have um, the original love story as well. But yeah, this is, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more sexy. This, I feel like this is going to be a compliment getter. I want to test the theory. But yeah, this is Chloe, love story, au sensual. So those are the brunch scents that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like fragrance, if you like smelling good, if you like smelling good, go ahead, like, Share this with someone else that really likes smelling good. You know, they, they want to watch some videos right now. So go ahead, share the dawn, okay? And also hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions. If you want to chat a little bit more, hit me up. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.